Brentwood, and Rockin' It was my favorite street. It was a case that had sex. Domestic violence. That had drugs. It was, you know, lifestyles of the rich and famous. It's hard to grieve about a person that you're upset with. When I was willing to write, they wouldn't do it unless there's a fictional chapter in there. <laughs> if you're asking me if I feel sorry for Simpson, the answer is hell no. <clears throat> Nicole is with us each and every day. I knew her, I loved her. Oh, Jerry, are you still looking for the murderer like you promised you would? <laughs> of course, I like to find the murders. So every day, I would be walked in chains to one of these vans right back around the corner here. This case is one of the great travesties of justice in the history of our country. When it comes to the civil aspects, I root for the Goldman family. I see the footage often of um, uh, Kim and, and, and Mr. Goldman, and you can't help but feel sad for them. So, I mean, I'm saying, look, you see where everything is. Now, where's all this money you keep telling America I got hit? I saw it coming, so I went and got rid of a lot of stuff. <laughs> hey, I would rather a friend still didn't have it before a friend Goldman get it. <laughs> I remember saying it to the Simpson jurors, and you think you know him, you don't know him. You see what's on camera. You do not see what happens the minute the camera's turned off. It can be as big as smiling and frowning. What you see is what you get with OJ. He's the same guy. So it wasn't when the camera went off, I was a different person. And I like to think, uh, with few exceptions, I'm that person today. It's trying just to be, you know, 25 and a young woman and just trying to develop and then to, to add it, you know, your father, a murder trial. All the things that we heard at the very beginning of that case, your first impressions, those things stick with people and they, none of that was factual. And, you know, even though I know, I felt my heart that there was no way they could convict me uh, for something I didn't do, I still, you know, you wonder at times, am I ever going to walk into a Chinese and I'm going to see a fortune cookie again? <laughs> I feel like there's a possibility that he could have done it. Now, the big DA who prosecuted me, his name is uh, Gil Garcetti. And he lives right here. Asshole! I have letters blaming me for killing the victims. I mean, literally for killing the victims. In the beginning, it bothered me that people would think I was a murderer or that I would do this. Now I realize most of them don't give a shit anyway. They just. They got a problem, <laughs> you know? I feel like they have a, a bullseye on my chest and a dollar sign on my back. Everybody's trying to pimp me for something, it seems. <laughs>